Es ist Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43. I hope you had a great weekend. And we are on Northwest in Zyklop, the destroyer of worlds. And my very first tier 10. Now, we are on Northwest and we spawned in the Northeast. No? Okay. Well, I thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, so what do I normally do when I spawn in the Northeast? On Northwest, I go straight across the top. I'm already up here. I don't even have to go uphill. So that's preferable. You know, because Zyklop has trouble going up hills. And you guys are going to get to see me have a little bit of fun. And use Zyklop the way he's supposed to be used instead of being a bully all the time. And getting killed 30 seconds into the match, but still making a pretty decent game out of it. At least that's the hope, anyway. Or could be... You know, just round three of me just driving out there, getting two or three thousand damage and getting obliterated very early. Which will it be? Anyway, so we're making our way to the right. And you know this north corner. I Right here, I tell the E4, hey, don't push too far out. We're alone. There's no sense in it. Stay back here where we can defend. And if they rush us, we can work together that's what we need to do because with the two of our guns together his 155 and mine 170 there's not too many tanks that are going to come up and take a shot from either of us and live or let alone both of us i mean so if i hit somebody and he hit somebody they did generally speaking so initially i pull up i'm a little hesitant but i'm going to try to get a shot on these medium tanks over in the middle can I get a little M46 patent tier 9 American medium? And just under the train track, I was going to look for a cheeky shot. And that is a dirty shot if I can nail that. I mean, you're putting a 170 millimeter round through a keyhole. It's going to be a, a tough shot to pull off, but if I pull it off, people will be singing legends about it. <laughs> the bards will tell of the story. Here's Hello 1390. You stay there. What can I do for you? Nothing? Right. E4, okay, how about that? Oh, dear lord, E4, you just stay there. Smile for the camera. And shot out. Oh, dagnabbit, E4! Really? <laughs> I was gonna hit him, not you! Ah, uh, the frustration never ends. <laughs> like, of all the time! I... That is so, so awesome. But it's okay. We'll have other chances. The game is still young. Oh, dear Lord, please pull out in front of me. My 170 millimeters just begging for it. And the moment I turn away, he came around the corner and I missed my opportunity. Ain't that a shame. E4 got him some of that, though, so, you know, at least that's a thing. But most of the action, apparently, is in the south so far. Where's the fun in that? There's that Patton again. Oh, you're... Yeah. 1,082 damage, and he missed me. With a Patton, he didn't even hit me. <laughs> Leopard pulls up. I'm going to try to back around the corner so I don't take any damage, because there's no reason to take any unnecessary damage. That little, uh... Either a Centurion or a... Uh, Centurion Action X, something like that. Oh, there we got another shot into the fatherland. Yeah, he's not happy. But he pinned me, which is hilarious because look where he pinned me. He pinned me on the upper glacis, which is the thickest and most angled part of my armor, which should be unpenetrable by everything in this game. But somehow he slips around through it. I'll have to remember that because that never happens ever i figured he hit the bottom plate or he shot through my uh ears on my superstructure because that's the weak spots but no he shot straight through the thickest part of my armor so uh yeah that's definitely something i need to watch out for maybe my tank got a little bit of a nerf and i didn't know about it hmm 
All right, so E4, are you going to mess up for me? No. Patton? Oh, here's that keyhole shot. Come on. Shot out. Oh, just clips the underside of the train. That's pretty much what we figured was going to happen. I mean, let's be honest. We didn't honestly think that that was going to actually slip through there. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. You will miss 100% of the shots you never take. So you might as well take the shot and you never know. Some of them will stick. Oh, come on, E4. Come out. Oh, hello. I'm going to shoot me a little medium tank. Focus attention here. Zyklop, that is the fastest you will ever go. And pop. That's another kill for our team. <laughs> oh, you poor little leopard. You didn't see that one coming, did you? 170 millimeters. But here's the thing. I'm no expert in the new physics, and I don't know exactly what my tank is capable of. I haven't been using it near as often as I should, uh, to rem you know, especially since the patch. So I'm trying to get used to the physics Ready and how this thing will climb and all that. And I found out that it's not much of a climber. I mean, it only weighs a million pounds, which I'm not even 100% sure what it weighs, but it's a lot. She is a heavy, heavy gun. <laughs> but... We're just gonna roll on down and tank trap. Yep, this sucks. Now I'm gonna be stuck here for the rest of the game. That's no good. Maybe I can wiggle my way out. Come on, Zyklops, wiggle that booty. Wiggle that booty, there you go, get moving. Now you got it. And don't do something stupid like turn back to the rock. I mean, that would be arrogant and ridiculous you're not going to climb that right right well i guess you are climbing <laughs> and we can climb up a sheer rock face but by god you put one of these little tiny metal fences in front of us and we can't go through that what i thought i was getting stuck on the house or the building but i wasn't it's literally a little tiny metal fence stopping me from going through there really game uh, well I guess we'll go around oh there's a heavy tank behind us Cyclop maybe we don't have to go to them they'll come to us oh we've got our backside to a 15 centimeter that's not good maybe he won't notice us here I mean we are spotted but maybe he doesn't know we're here <laughs> all right get hold down Come on, you didn't get hauled down, Spartan. One shot out. Thousand damage. Try to angle, and he puts it through my bottom plate. Not too difficult from that angle, because he is literally below us. But now, I'm giving him none of the bottom plate. So he's going to have to pin somewhere else. If I give him another chance to shoot me. Come on, get loaded. He hits me, and I kill him. But he did pin me. Where did he pin me? right on the upper plate again it's twice in one match that somebody's pinned the upper plate of my uh, Jaggy 100 now some of you may have uh, noticed I was a little bit off on my uh, haul down right there by going haul down and protecting the lower plate I was making the upper plate slightly flatter so maybe that occurred or maybe that caused that one but the one earlier he was lower than I am Ooh, don't flip your tank, that'd be embarrassing. Um, <laughs> he was lower than I am, shooting up at me and hit the top plate and still pinned it in a fatherland, no less. So, here we have a Jaggy 100, and I'm pushing towards it. So, remember that E4 that was next to us earlier? Well, he did send me a message and apologize for what he's about to do to me. So we'll give him a little bit of credit, but I'm still not letting it slide completely because, I mean, let's be honest. He can say that he accidentally bumps me, but we're pr I'm pretty sure that he had every intention of bumping me to make me miss my shot so he'd have a chance to steal the kill. And that's fine, but own it if that's what you did. I'm not going to be able to see him, you know, until afterwards, and you'll see that I, switch, I turn my mic on and say something to him. I'm just like, really, dude? Really? But anyway, Jaggy 100 could potentially one-shot in here. So this is a risk for both of us. And come on. 
here we go. We got the shot. Stop. And the moment I, I try to put the shot on him, this guy bumps me. And then I'm like, really? And then he goes affirmative. So then I'm really thinking that he did it on purpose. Now he bounces a shot, which I mean serves him right. And I'm not going to make the same mistake. Remember the ears that I was telling you about on the superstructure? Right there it is. 494 damage. No problem. Right through a superstructure. So remember, it, and that's why I play so many different tanks. Because you've got to know the weak spots. You never know what you're going to run into, and you never know when you're going to need to know each tank's weak spots. So play a lot of different tanks, and then that way when you come up against that tank, you know where the weak spots are. There's no better um, substitute than having intimate knowledge of your opponent's tank. I mean, it just isn't. Uh, Bullvi, he, he'll tell you the same thing, man. That's why he plays a lot of different tanks. And you just gotta, you gotta play the tanks and find out what they are good at, what they're bad at, what can be pinned, what can't be pinned, rate of fire, maneuverability, all those things factor into whether you're going to win the engagement or your opponent is. So remember it. And I may seem like I'm spouting off, but it's because I'm not going to get another shot in here. I mean, the guy just got tracked and the E4 that was above us gets the kill. But eight hits, three kills, not bad for the old Zyklops. What do we end up with? 5,200 damage, 42,000 silver, fourth on the the team so not bad but if you like what i'm doing punch that like button leave a comment below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i will see you in the next video